Aloha, welcome back to Yimi Hawaii. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just wanted to say I'm sorry, sin loi, gomenasai, mianeo, that I haven't been posting in a while, but today I'm back to do a quick review of this cordless automatic curler that I found off of Amazon. I bought it myself for $35, so I'll be giving you my true review. What triggered me to get this cordless automatic curler was because I found out that the Dyson Airwrap, if you buy it in North America, and if you do plan to travel out of country to a place with a different electrical outage it won't be compatible even if you bring like a converter or something i uh, heard some people got their machines fried so just to be safe i decided to buy this uh, cordless automatic curler because it is portable and you simply just have to use a simple phone charger to charge it and usually our phone chargers are quite universal so let's go ahead and get started okay so just to unbox it together you will see that it comes of course with the curler itself it's quite kind of big. It reminds me of like maybe like a cup. If you guys have, you know, like a stainless steel cup, that's what it looks like. It comes with a little bag that you can keep it, a dust bag over there. And then inside here, underneath it, you're supposed to get a charger, but I think Amazon just didn't provide me with the charger. So it's totally fine. I'm just going to use my universal uh, phone charger to utilize it there. And as you can see, it comes with two clips, a uh, comb, and then instructions. Okay, so for me, I already washed my hair last night and then this morning I sprayed on some heat protectant spray. What I'm going to do first, even though I have really thin hair, I'm just going to go ahead and just clip it up so that I can do the bottom section first and then I can focus on the top section afterwards. Okay, and I did want to let you know, so this machine, when I first got it uh, the other day, it's important to just charge it to the full capacity before you utilize it. And then once you turn it on by holding onto this button right here with the on sign, you will then be able to choose the settings. So I left it at 150 degrees Celsius, which is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I changed the time down to eight seconds because I don't want my hair to be in for too long uh, because it might damage it, I guess. And then because I'm gonna start on the right hand side first, I'm gonna leave it at R. I know it's a little hard to see, um, but uh, there it is, okay. And of course, read the instruction manual if you do get this. But let me go ahead and just try. I'm just gonna grab a very small section first. Okay, this, this kind of looks like two centimeters, right? Okay, well, well, we'll, we'll try it out and see what happens. Okay, okay, so here it is. And if you see me looking over here, it's because I have my mirror over there, but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this big start button. And it's, it's, it's okay, cool, it's like eating my hair. Okay, and it's beeping. It's beeping. Okay, I think it, once it's done beeping, I can let it go. Okay, and then voila, it, it curls. Okay, I may have used a larger section, maybe. It doesn't look too good. Um, so let's try another section, a smaller section of hair, and then I'm going to try again, okay? And I'm just gonna put it right there. Let it pull in, do its magic, it's beeping. So when it's beeping, I'm gonna let go of the start button, of course, uh-huh. Okay, it's done. Oh yeah, this one's a lot better. Okay, so as you guys notice, the smaller the strand, the much better it goes. Look how cute it is. And then for me, I like to just like hold it into my palm a little bit. This is what I do with my Dyson Airwrap too. While the heat is still there, it just kind of helps the curl stay a little bit longer, I think. Okay, and then I'm just gonna release it and then put it in the back. Okay, this looks about two centimeters. I'm a little, I'm a little scarred now because I'm scared. I don't know what two centimeters is like. Okay, it's eating my hair. Okay, and then I'm letting go of the start button because it's beeping. And it's done beeping, so I'm gonna let it go. Oh yeah, not too bad. Oh, it's really hot, even at 150 degrees Celsius. I think it's because I'm so used to using my Dyson Airwrap, and even though I use the hottest heat setting on there, it doesn't feel like this crazy hot, but okay. And then I'm just gonna let it go. So yeah, that's it so far. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and let down top section of my hair Throw it in the back there and then we're gonna continue on with our adventure of two centimeters it's a definitely a guessing game with this one <laughs> okay and so I'll go ahead and just start okay 
and then I'm letting go one beat, two beat, three, four, five. Oh, okay, it's just five. Oh, not bad, okay, cool, cute. I don't know how high I can go. It's just because my hair is so long. I don't want to risk it because I don't know how long this barrel is, right? So let me just try a little bit more. Um, a little bit more up here. Let's see if we can handle this entire strand. Oh, oh shoot, I'm sorry. I didn't wait. I didn't wait to hear it beep. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> okay, wait, let's try it again. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't wait to hear it beep and then I just stop. Okay, there it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, so I guess you can do it pretty high up there if you like the, you know, the look up there. It's so cool. Like, I feel like I don't have to think about anything when I'm doing this. I really do have a hard time with a regular wand curler. Uh, that's why I invested in a Dyson Air Wrap, so I don't have to think too much. But this one is actually pretty straightforward, and it's pretty easy. You don't have to really do anything. You just gotta know how to press start, find two centimeters of hair, and listen to beeps. So it's done. So I finish one side, as you can see. Kind of, kind of cute-ish. Uh, might have been doing it wrong, maybe. But uh, it curl for the purpose of uh, this. Let's just go ahead and just curl a little bit of it. I'm not gonna leave it as long. I think I just don't want it to be too curly. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to be changing the direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here. Skip over the degree, cause I like the degree. Now it's on this R, I'm gonna change it to L. So we're gonna be on the left hand side, so we're good to go. And I'm noticing up here, it's not really that hot at all, really great, but down here, pretty hot. So you gotta be careful. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if anybody else is like me. I tend to not do a great job of curling my left side. It's always been the case. Um, so hopefully this one doesn't get messed up too bad. Like I don't know what to do with my fingers. Okay, but let me go ahead and try. Oh shoot, okay, it's not even eating it because I don't know how to, how to feed it well. Okay, but let me, maybe, hmm. I feel like I need to hold it a bit better and there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Kind of, sort of. It looks more like a wave, but uh, it'll do. I feel like, of course, with practice, a lot more faster. I think the most time consuming thing is figuring out what two centimeter is. Oh, see, that's scary. Oh my God, it just stopped. Okay. Like, I don't know what's happening. Okay, wait, I don't know what happened. Okay, hold on, let's try it again. Okay, there it was. I don't know what happened there. Wonky. Oh, I, that's why it happened, okay. So that was a little scary. I think my hair kind of got stuck in there. So the key is you don't pull it out. What you do is you just click the start button and you hold it down. And then I guess it's like a release mechanism. So uh, just be careful. Don't, I know natural reaction is probably just to rip out your hair maybe, but uh, just click on the start button and you should be good to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna just double check my hair because I think I should have curled everything now. Pretty cute, yeah. But the only thing I have is it, I maybe I used it wrong. It looks kind of uh, mumble jumbly a little bit, but hey, it's fine, I guess. And 
Maybe because it's been a while since I really used a lot of heat on my hair. It just looks a little bit dry. But overall, I think it looks really adorable. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to run a comb through it. Uh, ooh, just carefully, I guess. Just to loosen up the curls a bit, maybe. Um, yeah. And there it is. And just as a tip, once you're done using it, you can just go ahead and hold this for, I believe, two seconds and it'll automatically turn off. If you forget to turn it off, about 10 minutes later, it automatically shuts off. What a smart machine. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I think it's very convenient. Um, if you're ever in a rush or something and you need to curl your hair, you can definitely bring this along. I think earlier, even though I used it, I was like about, what, 14 minutes total? None of the battery went down. So overall, I actually would give this pretty high ratings, maybe, what, like four yimmy faces out of five? I'm giving it a four because everything is really great. The only thing that I don't like about it is I feel like it doesn't make my hair look as, you know, nice as if I needed to dice snare wrap. But hey, for a $35 tool that is portable and you can bring it to different countries and it doesn't need like a specific, you know, special charge or anything like that, this is actually really, really good. And I think if you, you know, have about $35 or so and you want to try it out, I would definitely highly recommend it. The other good thing about it is I feel that because it's really lightweight, it doesn't hurt your hand when you're utilizing it. So that's definitely a plus there. And it's pretty small. I feel like if you had to pack this, it's going to be very convenient. You don't need to bring the entire box, of course. If you do want to protect it, maybe you should. And overall, pretty easy to use. I didn't, you know, have to you know, watch a lot of YouTube tutorials or anything like that. I remember I had a big learning curve when it came to Dyson Airwrap. Okay, and then of course, this is what it would look like overall. And if you wanna, you know, part your hair differently, you definitely can. Maybe you can get more volume out of that way. I think it's pretty, pretty cute. Yeah. And I don't know how long it's gonna last, obviously. I feel like I may have messed up curling it too, so I feel like the curls aren't really as curly as they could be. But um, hopefully this has given you a great idea. If you did check it out, let me know what your you know experiences are like below. If not, thank you so much for your time and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care.